right guys all right guys so here's the thing i uh pressure washed the engine and under the cab without you but just because it was such a pain in the ass i didn't want to try and tote the camera but let's check it out okay so if you guys remember from crystal you see it's really hard to see you see that right there looks like a kind of a speedometer gear that's tack cable and that's driven from a shaft that's down in there and uh, if you remember that shaft was broken on on uh, crystal and it's broken on Fiona here too so I see the pumps missing and so I see they've got this tack unhooked so they were trying to work on it I don't know what they came up with but uh, I'm going to uh, get the right size wrench and I'm gonna take that thing off and uh, then I'm gonna go in the shop and get the one off of uh, Um, crystals engine and I'm gonna grab that fuel pump as well and I'm gonna put it on the problem is they got fuel injector lines off so they were probably trying to diagnose what was wrong with it and uh, could be that you know the good thing is this thing was in the woods and uh, so there wasn't a whole lot of water raining on it and the hood the roof was closed you know the cab was closed over and uh, so maybe this pump is still good. What I'll do is I'll take the take this thing off, and I'll get that shaft out. I think it's broke. Feels like it is. And you know it's hard to tell if the piece didn't break out. It's hard to tell if it's broken or not. So hopefully they didn't couldn't tell and they took the pump off and the pump was good and and they just said screw it and push it in the woods I also got to take the drain plug out of the transmission because you know I put a little bit of water in there and I know I got a little water down in there getting it out in pliers. I think what I had to do with candies is I think I had to uh, I think I had to tap it up from the bottom with a with a uh, punch. I think uh, get a punch lined up in there and uh, see if we can't tap it up in. I think I got the majority of of the spiders taken care of. Okay. Well. Is it broken? Nope. Um, so that's good, right? It's not broken. Um, yeah, that's good and bad, I guess. Um, good because these are hard to find, but bad because now I'm wondering what their deal was. You know, such is life. Wasn't that. No big deal. We're going to uh, stick this top part back on. And uh, we're still going to go 
we're still going to go and get us a fuel pump off of Candy's motor and stick it on there. Regardless of the fact that they probably did that as well, um, we could instead grab Candy's fuel filter set up and uh, you know put that on and put uh, put some fuel to it and crank it see what happens all right so the good news is that all the stuff I need is right here on this motor the crappy news is um, yeah it's on the hard to reach side so right here right there is the oh, there's a the fuel pump and uh, good news is it's got a new fuel line that goes up to that up to the pump and up to the fuel filter housing and uh, we got all the injector lines we need but I think what we'll do is we'll take this fuel line that goes up to the filter housing off and we'll take this block and we'll uh, take those lines and we'll just take all that stuff right down to, right out to that truck and put it on there uh, we do need a pump. I do have one, but I don't think it works. And we'll need a filter. And I think that's just... One of them's already off, so... get a look at this this one has this block right here so I don't know if we'll use the block um, it's weird because it has a fuel filter here but no fuel filter on the motor I think this fuel filter will fit right here um, but I don't know what it was what it was doing um, I think it was in here Yeah, it's like it goes from like from here into this block, which these were backwards. It went from went from here one this thing is trash too I'll have to rig that thing up a little bit boy that is tough stuff right there dude mm. but we need to we need to do it so I think maybe we'll take this one off <sighs> I 
Ouch. Bend it up out of the way. Let me get this one out of there. What's that? What's that? That's a airline. We need to get this right here. Now this one, candies went from the fuel pump to the fuel filter. This one went, I don't know, I don't understand this one, but we're not going to hook this back up anyways because we don't know what's in that tank. Um, pretty sure it's empty because I don't, I don't think the guy who owned this would have left any fuel sitting around a tank. Um, I'm sure the first thing happened to this before it went to the woods is evacuation of all, all fuel. Uh, So anyways, this will be the suck out of the tank, um, but it's not. Yeah, this, this is the return line, okay. Yep, that's the return line, so we'll put that in there. The difference is we're going to leave this block. Um, That is really wedged down in there. And then this is really as well. I don't know why that's going through the frame like that, but you know, it is what it is. Ah, yeah, yeah, ah, come on, come on now, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, hey, look at you. I didn't even know you were out here. All right. line comes from there to there um, but why why do you suppose that line is there out of the pump into that that was a return line it's so weird this one went out of the pump.
to be a pain in the ass to change that thing with whatever this is. This steel line. Okay. So what if we just copied the way this used to be? Okay, so this was fuel in from the fuel pump. Or this was fuel to the, to the filter. Yeah. Fuel in. Which don't make no sense because that can't be fuel in. This goes out that hole. This I don't know what that does. Okay, so that's return. I don't know what that is. But that's probably into the pump. All right, guys, we got a low battery. I got a low battery in my own personal life, so I'm kind of tired. I'm going to wrap this up for tonight, and we'll get back on this truck first thing in the morning. When I come out, we'll uh, put a fuel pump on it, route up some lines. We'll leave this end off because I think the fuel goes in where that valve is and uh, just not 100% sure but I think so this used to have a fuel filter housing this one doesn't have one I'm not sure why it doesn't um, but that can't be good that can't be good so we're gonna need a fuel filter housing which is fine we'll find one this may work may have to build a bracket for it not 100% sure um, but I do want to get fuel going into that pump and see if it puts out. If it does, uh, we'll rig up the wires, make sure we get a kill switch involved, and uh, see if it'll crank. I got a key for the ignition. I just need to run some battery cables, so we'll need uh, two positive cables out and, uh, and a couple of grounds. And we'll run two over there and two over here. And, uh, yeah, we'll make it happen. Anyways, guys, appreciate you coming. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you. Day two. Hey, what's up, guys? Man, what a beautiful day. It's not too hot. It's just right. So I'm standing here in front of this beautiful piece of machinery. Man, just look at it. Fiona. I love Fiona. This is going to be a really nice truck. Well, this is kind of a continuation to yesterday. I'm even wearing the same shirt. Uh, it has been laundered, though, if you remember what it looked like yesterday when I signed off. But anyhow, what we're doing is we're going to take this lift pump, demand pump, supply pump, fuel pump, pump, pump. And we are going to install it on Fiona today. And then we're going to plumb up the fuel lines. We kind of talked about that yesterday. We're going to plumb up the fuel lines. We're going to get a bucket of fuel out here. We're going to run some battery cables. We'll stick some batteries in it. We're going to get it whirring over. And we're going to see if uh, A, does the uh, fuel pump pump. B, does the injector pump pump. C, does the shutoff work. Um, you know these A pumps, they've got a little uh, mechanical shut off and then they got a little 
electrical air shut off and uh, we'll have to make sure that's all working and uh, I'd really love to get this engine to crank and run on its own fuel and so I've got some fuel injection lines um, in there on Candy's old motor I've got a spare injection pump if that comes to that this is the fuel pump off of Candy's motor and uh, you know for the most part should be good also what we're going to do today um, is we're going to get the transmission we're going to start putting the transmission back together somebody was taking this transmission out so they've got some loose bolts a whole bunch of loose bolts looks like they were just getting ready to pop it out and then they quit for some reason or another so we're gonna stab some new bell housing bolts in we're gonna take the drain plug out let out whatever water's gotten in there hopefully it's not too much we'll fill that transmission up with gear oil and uh yeah we'll see what we can do with that but anyways let's get you over here where you can kind of see what's going on let's get started things that kind of sucks about working on this uh is i had poor planning on where to put this four by four and uh well yeah it's kind of in the way kind of right in the way to be exact but we're gonna we're gonna do our best to just work around it and uh see what we can do now this already has some bolts in them they're pretty pretty gnarly we'll try and get on them with this ratchet wrench and get them get them loose I think they were they were working on this motor and so chances are there's gonna end up being some stuff wrong with it that maybe we can't uh, fix immediately so We will, uh, we'll find out though. We'll get this, I checked the oil pump drive shaft, or the, excuse me, the fuel pump drive shaft, and it's fine. So, next thing that we'll be looking at is, uh, we'll put this fuel pump on, then we'll route some fuel lines. Um, and see if we can get some fuel pumping off this thing so we'll have to run some battery cables I bought some battery cable for this we'll put this fuel pump on and then and then we'll uh we'll let these sit up here and soak a bit so we'll put some we'll put the fuel pump on and then we'll get uh Got a little sidetrack, but we're just we're just greasing up those fittings in case we got to take them apart. All right, so in and out. I want to say that this goes this way. Yeah. So there's, there was a gasket on there, but this thing uses an O-ring. Uh, so we're just going to hope that it doesn't need a gasket as well. Remember how I said this board was right in the way? I wasn't kidding. Uh, I can't get my hands to articulate in this hole. And that's unfortunate because I really need them to. Well, I mean, I can get a track mat and get underneath it, I guess. Be right back. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get underneath here and uh, I'll take these bolts with me, and those will go in as far as I can get them with this uh, with this wrench. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, all right, it 
looks like that thing has turned to the two o'clock position. And we put this this way. And then we'll turn that to the two o'clock. And we'll see about getting that up in there. Ratchet, and we'll tighten those up. Um, let me look at the uh, let me look at the battery cable situation. All right, so this will be easy. This ground, and yep, that's a good ground. That's easy as well. Uh, yeah, the positive is going to be hard to do, but it'll happen. All right, let's get out. We'll grab the we'll tighten this up, and then. Uh, then we'll switch gears. It's weird. We'll switch gears and do the uh, do the battery cables because we're gonna need to crank on it. Let me grab a half inch. All right. So the fuel pump's on. Now let's build some uh, build some battery cables. Now I think I did 10 feet, and 10 feet may not be enough. We'll see. So we have to come from that. I'll just put it through. That's the positive cable. So that we'll uh, we'll do it. What I plan to do is have this negative cable come over here and hook to the battery, right? And then we'll send the positive cable through that insulated section. And we'll have one battery from one set of batteries from that side come over to the starter and then we'll have a short set uh, Now we got to try and get up in there to the positive. It's going to be tough. And we got to mark those. Let me go get a cutter. All right, so we're going under again. Again, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm just going to bring you along anyway. So one thing we like is our track mat is very maneuverable underneath the truck. And, uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mark the ground cable. Um, with where we're going to cut it. And I'm going to mark the hot one as well. Then I can pull those up, cut them off and put a end on. All right, so I'm going to try and get, see this forge got these splash shields, which are really cool. They keep the tire from splashing stuff up all in the electric, but cool on one hand and not so good on the other because uh, kind of gets in the way of being able to reach the, the starter lug. Okay, so there's the current wire. And uh, it's gonna be tough to get on. My glasses keep falling up my face and the side get crap in your eyes, even though you're wearing safety glasses. So uh, let me see what I can do here. All right. Okay. 
All right. So they make a cutter for this stuff, and uh, if you're going to be doing battery cables, you should have some because it is no fun. All right. So this is the size plug you need for the starter. And so we'll make sure we have those in here. The last thing you want to do is make up all these cables and then get under there and can't get the thing to go on the lug because you got the wrong one. So you just bring your old one up and get a look at it. Looks like what we have is 3 8 what we need is 7 16 so we're going to need some 2 out 7 16 all right so uh that's that we got it now what we're going to do is strip this back a little ways okay this will be this way. wiring harness and we'll get it on that lug I think I want to go, I think I want to go around this as well. Um, I think I have enough to go out and around. It just seems like maybe that's not a good idea. Uh, let's see, I'll put this down in there. And we'll bring this around here. Seems like it might be good now. Outside? Yeah. Hmm. Ground cable. Make it good to the starter. Which that one's the easiest one to get to, so no big deal.
voy, voy, voy. Ah. Better cables are done. Uh, all right, so what we need to do now is do these ends. Let me clean the battery box out. Alright, so seems like a good sign that the warning's going on inside the cab. So that's kind of cool. We'll tighten that other one up right quick and we'll just see if the starter works. We'll also take this uh, inlet off the turbo in case something goes on. I mean, I know it's not going to start and run because there are no fuel lines, no fuel, but let's just test it out. Okay, nothing happened. We're going to take this little uh, starter solenoid box open. See what we got. Hmm. All right, let's check and see if the key works from the inside. All right, key works from inside and it's building oil pressure. So now what we need to do is bring a gas can out, plumb into the fuel pump, and uh, make sure the fuel pump pumps. Then we'll plug into the first port, make sure we get fuel, second port, third port, all the way around. Uh, I turned the key off, but the key's hard to get turned on because uh, it's not the right key, obviously. So. I don't really feel like turning it off, so we'll just let that buzzer buzz. Ain't no big deal. It's good for it. It's good for it to buzz a little bit. Oh, this is where wires come through. I see. Okay, well, we'll work that. We'll work that out. Um, all right, let me get... Uh, yeah. Let me see what we got here. This is a kill switch. This one right here. And I'm 
plus this is as well. So. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this down in the diesel fuel and uh, put it over here where I can step in it. Then we're going to uh, crank on it a little bit from down here. We're gonna make sure that the uh, fuel pump is picking up fuel. got to make sure that we're on the in and not on the out and I'm too blind for that I think I think that says in borrow you for a minute all right so we switched it around now we're gonna try it again Okay, definitely is backwards now. Um, super interesting. That was definitely pumping into the bucket. Man, just two more inches of room right here would be super. Oh boy. It's tight like a tiger. Let me grab a wrench. Got the end nut primed. All right, so we got a no, a no fuel pump situation, and I don't know why. Um, I can put oil into the pump. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I can blow through the pump without any problem, and I, I don't think I should be able to. I don't think I should be able to blow through it. Unless the bypass valve is stuck open. So I think I'm gonna have to take that pump back off. Which is, uh, you know, Unusual, uncool, don't like it, but we're going to plumb in electrical or electric fuel pump and uh, yeah, so we're going to go in here, which in turn is going to go into the pump and then should go out of the pump this was the one that was in there and uh, 
yeah this probably went like this so we'll probably put this back on we'll see if we can clean this end up get this back on hose out so I'm going to uh, put this on right here but first I'm gonna I'm gonna plumb this end on I'm gonna go on this side so thing is this truck it looks like it's been a little bit bastardized if you know what I mean they were trying to figure out what the dealio was and uh, I'm trying to figure it out too so all right so I think this is good that's return this is feed so this here needs to get a, a line put on it and so I think what I'll do is I'll take this one and I'll come up in there and stick that on and then I'm gonna have to come up with some adapters to uh, adapt a pump into this one and we'll pump this one we'll pump this one uh, kind of uh kind of a little all right so while you were gone I put on the missing injection pump lines plumbed in a fuel pump I'm running fuel through it right now um, I'm just gonna crank on it just a little bit now anything can happen this thing can run away if it starts to run away I'll disconnect the fuel I'll run around, I got a board over there, and I'll snuff out the turbo. Um, yeah. It shouldn't get pressure in the fuel lines because I've got them all loose on the pump. Okay, I'm getting fuel from four, five, and six. Okay, it's getting ready to start. So we're going to tighten up these fuel lines and uh, then I'm going to disconnect the throttle linkage to make sure that this thing is at idle. This thing's about to be running on its own fuel. How exciting! Yep. I'm anticipating trying to run a little bit wild at first. Um, I got to get this right here off because I'm not sure if it's at idle. So, and since I'm going to be kind of scared, kind of excited at the same time, <clears throat> oh boy. Okay. All right, here we go.
right, so. Would that be considered a misfire? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I can see one, one uh, injector line is uh, pissing, and it's the hardest one to get to. And I don't even know why they took those out to begin with. Sure wish I was not blind. All right, so this, uh, this is a pain in the ass, really, in case you wondered. So last night, me and Jessica watched the original Death Race 2000. Man, let me tell you what, that movie is great. We watched the most Yeah. Look at the skull. Oh, weird. Cat. Oh, part of the skull. Yep. Well, that's cool. You could resin that thing up. see do you see my little crescent somewhere Ow. right there oh well up in my business um let's see what was I gonna use this for now I wanted to take this line down. I already got the jakes disconnected, but I I don't think the jakes are working. I don't think that's it. I mean, it kind of sounds like it is. I'm gonna take this return fuel line off. Is this pump running? Hit that key for a sec. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Behind me? On the on the tire? Yep. Okay. All 
right, so we're not getting any refer return fuel pressure. So pause real fast and go like this. Other thumb. The, with the zoom, your body is this big and your head's this big. Nice. <laughs> I'm going to go put Odin in. All right, so it's not getting any fuel through this block. Where do you speculate why? Uh, I don't know. Mud dopper, probably. Um, Dang old critter. Yep. But man, it sure does smoke black for, yeah. I, I would have thought it was over fueling. I mean, I did think it was over fueling. No would have. <clears throat> I really wish that I could see all the things I've lost. That's the most important one to me. I can't really get in here to get this. It's kind of poor, horse porking me a little bit. Okay. It's weird. Phone good now. Get it, get it. Okay, so now we're getting return fuel. I don't know what I did. Probably just that fitting. I don't know because it was the same fitting. Yep. <laughs> I just turned it around the other way. Now, when I get this working, you're going to have to listen to the gas tank and see if we have. Uh, this gas tank? Yeah. See if we have return flow into it. Okay, that's leaking like a bitch there too. Uh, leaking, leaking, leaking. That one's barely leaking, but this bottom one is like flowing. Yeah. Well, that wasn't leaking before though, so that's good, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's try it anyway. <laughs> Here, press that button. You recording? Look at that, guys. Got a little fuel leak, I need some new fuel lines. This truck is running. It's fine, I turned it off. Yeah, well, uh, so hey, how about that? This how truck's running on its own that? fuel supply. Of course, you know, the real reason why this truck has been parked, and I'm, I'm gonna bet money, is that the fuel pump went out, and uh, it was probably intermittent, 
you know, low pressure. They were trying to figure it out. They had some injector lines off and they had the fuel pump off. And I put a new fuel pump on and it does not suck fuel. The drive shaft going to the pump is good. The pump's in the, in the drive shaft. Uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I could run an electric fuel pump on the truck, but you know that's not me. So I think what I'll do is I'll order an uh, injection line kit so we can put all new injection lines on. I think the pump is good. And, uh, and uh, man, that's super exciting, guys. Uh, okay, so what was the one thing you wanted to do today? I, the one thing I wanted to get done today was to have this truck running off its own fuel uh, through the injection pump and uh, great success. Uh, transmission's been unbolted, but we're going to bolt it back up. It was working. Uh, it was in gear and it was cranking over. So I'm going to I'm going to put the cover back on. I'm going to get underneath. I'm going to drain out whatever water's in there. And I'll put some grease in there and let it sit and uh, we'll get some injection lines coming and uh, I'll get a new fuel pump uh, it's about 600 bucks but I'll get a new fuel pump and we'll get this baby going appreciate you guys like comment subscribe James pretty dot shop we're trying to get some uh, Fiona merch out there we just just put out some Betty merch last night get yourself a t-shirt and we'll see